Right. So here we have this is the program called Terra Sculpture. Um, we have a flat plane. All right. I'm just going to cheat a little bit and already set the color sets to auto range. Okay. So now we are going to build something called a noise map, which is some seeded, not random, but seeded random noise, right? And there's a few here, but we are going to pick Perlin because that's the one. That's the one that they used in Tribes 1. So in this particular uh, program, which is called Terra Sculptor. It is a free program. 2.0 is free. 3.0 is uh, paid, but with 2.0, you can basically do anything you want to. Uh, I've built 90% of my maps. I've been using this. So there's a few parameters um, in this. I don't know if you can read it on stream, but there's a few parameters. There's, of course, the seed, right? So we do 1337 for the seed. There's a method to this madness. There's a lot of stuff, roughness, shape, detail, density. This is all about feature sizes, right? Like features are the hills. So then we go to size, which can be on the size of a continent to the size of a boulder. And we're going to type 1337. Now this is funny because this is the closest thing to a religious experience I've ever had. Because for a joke, I put in lead and lead. Okay, now check this out. There's a hill in the exact center of this seed. That never happens. If you type anything random, there's never a perfect hill. That one's a little off center. It almost never happens, except for that one that I just... Saving that scene. This is fucking weird. Almost never the hill in the exact center, as I was saying. Almost never, but hey, 1337 just fun, right? It's just fun in games. Um, cool. Generate. So now what we have is some very rough terrain. All right. Now, you can see it's a little bumpy and stuff. Right. So this is what Tribes 1 is, okay? So what you see here, I'm going to just bump up the spike a bit. There we go. That looks a bit more tribesy, yeah? So what we have on this map is three levels of height represented everywhere here, right? So you have the white peaks are the top hills. There you have your medium hills and then you have your valleys. Yeah. So again, here as well, peak, mid, low. Peak, mid, low, peak, mid, low, and they all interconnect. Now for tribes one, it was this, this hilly, this spiky. Yeah, the, the resolutions were much smaller. This is 2000, um, tribes is two, 256 yeah and 256 um it's still like the whole of dangerous crossing which again shows up everywhere almost like this place here um the whole of dangerous crossing is like this bowl in fact i can show you the x here we go look this is dangerous crossing that is the actual size, that is the actual height map, okay? That's it. That red circle, that's your map. So the whole thing is 265 um, resolution. The circle is the map. That is it. That is the most important thing that's happened to tribes in that circle right there. So, and that's, I, I put this into Terra Sculpture and then screenshot in it. So look at that. Okay, keep that in mind. And three, two, one, back to Terra Sculptor. 
that's pretty fucking close, isn't it? Because that's fucking Perlin noise. It always makes the same kind of structures. So that's why you use this as a basis, right? You start with this and then you start fucking around with your editor. But you already have the foundations because you go from high to mid to low. And there are trifecta points where you have both high, mid and low that are interconnected with each other. If you use your heights, go if you go from mid to low you are going fast if you're going from high to mid you are going fast if you're going from high to low you're going very fast but you have to go back to high or back to mid and you slow down that is how that is the core foundation of speed management in this game they're slowing people down by physics when you need to be slowing down because if you are going really fast and you hit the high you're going to lose a lot of speed climbing up regardless unless you can chain from one area to the other and that's where your capping routes come from because you're going to try go from low to mid low to mid or you know keep a chain going and using your jets as the resource so that's why Berlin noise is it is basically tribes this is where tribes was born because this is what they had they didn't do a lot of map making they just you know adjusted the fucking noise they had and that's why you know you can see something happened here right this isn't pure Perlin noise and you can tell actually um well, let's hope, because I've already made the video, right? Yeah, but the small maps are fun. It, this, look at the X. Look at the X. It is a bowl. You spawn here, you go down, you go up. You go from high to mid. From high to low to mid. High to low to mid. High to low to mid. There's three levels of height right here, because every one of those plateaus is again subdivided, right? You're never on a flat ground. And that's what you have in this game constantly. You're on a flat ground, right? You're never on flat. Is there anything flat about this? Can you tell, by the way, if um, if I, hang on, can I? Yeah, look at this, right? Look at this structure again, 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 again. This is the same fucking hills again 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 see that this these hills look at that look at this bit of the x it's literally the same hill over and over and over again it's so fucking simple again 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 and again again and then they changed a little bit uh, you have um can I change anything about this? There you go. So they have this line here, this line here, that line there. Right? I could I could probably clean that up a bit. This line, this line. That's where they change the heights of the map a little bit. I don't know why that dip is there, but it is, right? But that's dangerous crossing. And it's right here in the Perlin noise. And there's other noises as well, you know, you've got... Uh, because you can, you know... Because this wasn't made for making proper skiable terrain, right? Like you have this stuff too. And then you have to smooth it out a little bit. Oops. By the way, this is a basic tool, right? There you go, let's beef this up a bit. This is a basic tool, okay? This looks a bit more modern already, you see? You can use this too. Look, all the bowls. Look how many bowls this fucking creates, right? Nice little peaks. If this is maybe a bit more of what can be used, but this is basic shit. I also have, because we're doing this now, we're going all the way, right? This is basic shit. Yeah, 
This is that's his baseline. <laughs> then you spend a couple of hundred dollars. This is what professional studios use. Or fucking TV shows and shit and movies used to create background terrain. Right? That is not real. That is generated. Okay? That shit is not real. It is generated in this program. What am I using it for? Yeah. Doing that shit. <laughs> what does it look like? It looks a little bit like that. This is a chain. This is an erosion chain that I made. And why can't I? Okay, there we go. This is an erosion chain. I'm going, not going to bother with the details. I'll make a long video about this where I build up erosion. I don't know why I can't move. There you go. And I put certain maps that I've hand drawn. I put them in there. And out comes after the full mirror, which is a simple transform. You can see it happening at the, at the top there. Transform it then mirror it and then make it seamless okay that's what happens and then i have a perfectly mirrored map and it's got erosion and some wonderful detail okay and then we put that back into our darling thing here there we go and then we get the thing that i sent the prophecy for an example so this is the normalized version and then we put that back down a bit and there you go and there you have a tribes map the one that i featured in the video i actually ski on it um i can't really open unreal right now because it'll lag the stream to hell and back so, but this is fucking, this is a tribes map. Okay, it's fully mirrored as well. Perfect mirror. It has, look, right? So what I did was I hand drew a map and then I ran it through Gaia, the engine, and it made it look real, right? It, and it also added the Berlin noise, by the way, because Gaia has Berlin noise. Um, it is adjusted because it's not the raw thing. It's not the, the OG thing, right? So, um, because we have, okay, well, let's see here. That's in the basic stuff here. Multi-fractal. So I'll, I'll mess around with it a little bit. So this is like adjusted Perlin noise as a base, right? And then you have another Perlin noise, but then, well, this is more another generation for like fissures and stuff. And then you have your plates. So plate tectonic, so you get the bigger shifts in height and all of that comes together. Uh, here's Perlin, there you go. This shit doesn't look like the stuff I showed you earlier, right? This is Perlin noise made for Gaia. So what the fuck is going on here? Well, because again, the stuff I showed in the video is fucking basic. Yeah. What you can do is you can get ridged stuff here as well. You can do all manner of stuff right below. And what you can also do is warp. Warp speed, number one. Um, so there we go. You can see this as well. And you can start warping the terrain. See? And you get these cool... In fact, this is a little overdoing it. But you can see what's happening here, right? Get these erosion effects. 
if you start playing around with that eventually you come to something like this as a baseline to re-add noise to the thing because if you look at what i put into this it's a little embarrassing but i'll show you that's what i drew by hand okay you can also tell the hilarious mirroring job which i i literally drew this in gimp okay so in photoshop that is what i produced by hand doesn't look that hard it took about an hour and i run that through this whole thing and that produces a thing that you know i dare show someone that then becomes this thing which still looks goofy but at least looks like tribes map because it's functional right so but again watch the video it's 11 minutes i it's the mapping feedback video on my channel and it actually shows me skiing on this because i do have an unreal project with skiing that can work on this but i'm not going to show that on stream right now because i need to figure out how to stream that shit so yeah i've literally said like here test test on this you don't have to use it but test on it you know because it's it this is so simple it's got a a base But super steep hills, you can have steep hills if you have a way. Look, there's a perfect example here, right? Look. Um, here. Yeah? This this hill here. Right in front of you. Yeah? This. This doesn't look like a steep hill, right? It, it flows nicely. It's a spawn hill, basically. It's for the, the bases on this side. Okay? Cool. Now look at it from the other side. That is a steep hill. Same thing here. This is a steep hill, but it's connected to a middle platform, uh, a middle plateau, right? From here, it's steep. From here, it's not. So you can you can use types of hills to decide what will happen to them by how you approach them. If you approach them from here, you're going to have to use a lot of jets. Unless, of course, you come from this steep hill, and then it doesn't matter. It zeroes out the speed. Yeah? Because you go down and go up again, you break even. Going from this point here, that point there, is break even. Because you've skied down and the use the same speed with a little bit of jets. Right? So you lose nothing. But it's fun, because you've actually gone fast a little bit, and then you can use your momentum to go up, and suddenly, when you suddenly come from the top of this, you come into a plateau. You've stored your potential energy. You're now sitting here, but what you're actually doing, if you go away from here, is you're still going as fast as you were going when you went up here. It's stored. This hill, this plateau, has stored the potential energy you had so if you go down again oh look you're going fast again and oh look you can go a little lower you're going even faster from your spawn points without doing anything by just letting go of your keyboard and just skiing down you can actually go by the point you're here you're going fucking fast you haven't even jetted yet And then, of course, you need to use that speed to get back up. But look at that. You're first going to a middle platform. And then you're going to, again, a little higher. And by the time you're going here, you've spent your jets. You're still going fast. But you're no longer going a million miles an hour. And here's the kicker, right, guys? The terrain has absorbed, reabsorbed the speed it's given you. It's balanced to speed. No need for speed caps. I've been going real fast down there. And I've been having fun. And I was hard to chase. Because I'm going fast. So other people need to catch up. In that trench right here. I am untouchable. But now it's time to go home. Reabsorb the speed. Go to the base. And the chasers are in the middle. 
And what do they do? They are on a middle platform and a high platform. You see? So if they decide to go and chase you, guess what? They translate their potential energy into this trench and they're going as fast as you are. And they haven't done much to do that. Because they've already been there. They've already spent the energy. They've already done that. They've already jetted up. And they've been waiting on a high point. To then translate that back into speed. That's what Perlin noise gives. And with a little bit of knowledge of how the game flows. This is a tribes agnostic map. I can resize this, I can spike it up, I can do whatever the fuck I want with it, and the basic principles will still be the same. It's a transfer of energy. Yeah, well, Helmet, if we're lucky... Not him. Um, then there will be a game that will have this specific map um because i've been talking with the guy who's making jetpack battle and when he's done he's now transferring tribes one scripting into um into his tribes one remake uh or tribes one inspired game should i say in unreal engine 5 i'm probably going to have to spike it up a bit because for tribes one it might be a little smooth um but that's not an issue i can crank up any knob I want in my uh, beautiful little tree here that uh, creates all of this chaos, right? Most of these nodes are just um, different types of erosion. And I can turn any of these knobs and increase the spikiness because a lot of this is actually making sure that the erosion doesn't create artifacts in the terrain because most of this this engine is made for making things look pretty and not for making things playable right so that makes things a little e a little interesting that sometimes there's some spike going on here and there uh like for instance this uh, it's one of the mid-stage things look at this right see how jagged the shadows are so these steep gashes and stuff they actually translate into like artifacting on the terrain it took a really long time um the original maps felt felt endless yeah that's because they weren't actually there was an end to them but it was the same thing copied over and over. Actually, I have the height maps here if you want to look at them. Uh, I have the original tribes height maps. Uh, one moment, please. Tribes. Look, I've, I've got a collection. Um, you see. <laughs> I also remade Catabatic. There you go. This is a hyper realistic version of catabatic it's got the same hills you just have to look for them it's actually the same setup because i used the tribes to height map and pumped them in um actually oh uh okay i actually still have it here i think stone ends megiddo cat yeah it is cat there you go this is the original uh yeah, so this is the original catabatic that I just pumped in. This is the, this is the try. Actually, this one I might have. No, no, I think this is it. I think this is the real one. This is also dangerous crossing. There you go. The real dangerous crossing. I can just pump this in and make realistic versions of it. <laughs> this is one of my earlier maps as well. Like I've been, I've been having fun. Uh, this is before Tribe Three was announced, by the way. Uh, but here we go. Let's uh, want to look at some Tribes One. There you go. Import. What do you want to see? Want to see Rain Dance? There you go. Now you'll understand. I'm gonna spike it up a bit. Calibrate? Well, I'll take a look. Uh, I'll do top. There you go. 
So, uh, oh, no, no, no. It's too small. Sorry. Top center, maybe? Yeah, there you go. So this is Rain Dance. This is Tribes 1 Rain Dance. So it's, again, it's copied. It's just copies of each other, right? I'll, uh, I'll show you the top. Right. <laughs> Not much to it, is it? Ah, that's why, you know, it doesn't have to be complicated. Can you crusade? Sure. Let's do Scarab first, if I can find it. I don't have that one. I do have an crusade. Raw. There we go. Yeah, see, this is <laughs> these are normalized maps, so that's what you get, right? Here you go. There's Canyon Crusade. Altitude top center. And yes, that's actually how spiked it is. This hasn't been uh altered in any way so those jagged edges they are in there <laughs> this is i think this one they actually drew by hand i think this one wasn't from the pearl and noise but broken record high mid low every single time but this one does have flats so there we are but i think i had scarabre Stonehenge, Tangerine Crossing, Snowblind, Jacket Claw, Ice Ridge, Desert of Death, Broadside, Bastard Forge. Blah, 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 blah. I had some others, but these are broken, so I can't do them. I have also. No, that was. TA height maps. Oh, no, those are mine. Never mind. Nobody cares about those. Uh. Can you say Scarabre? I don't have yet, but I am collecting. So, uh, let's see here. What else do I have? So, I mean, yeah, I think I had some others, but yeah, and yeah. This is the stuff. This this is um, yeah. Of course, I need to open it here, like. This is what I was making before all of this. Um, if I can get a good one. There we go. This is a map I made for Axial Rift. You can tell that it's got a pretty straightforward diagonal mirror, not a rotated one. And... Um, yeah i was making some big maps you can tell like by the erosion and stuff as well this map was fun i mean it it's a little spiky here i think um in game it looked a bit more like this no that's too flat never mind whoops there we go yeah this is a bit more realistic and it would it would line a side block like um this thing so you had a bowl here but you have most of the map being played on the midfield and then cappers could like go in the lower edges so again like the same principles coming back every single time and this wasn't as oppressive for sniping or anything because if you go down low enough I don't know if I can do it here. You can see, yeah, there you go. See, see the hill disappearing in these in these bowls. So, if you go down here, you would almost not be seen unless you're really at the tippy, tippy top. Hey, hey, Turbo. Yeah, I got crashed out, and then we I started talking about maps, so I'm showing things. Um, there's also this guy, which is real fun it's a bit more extreme so what my what the assignment was with this one make a map that's like the far end of what tribes one physics can handle this is the solution um this is basically what's yeah the the height of this 
like this middle the toilet seats thing that's basically got the fidelity of a tribe ascend map <laughs> that's like <laughs> catabatic up here right this thing is huge i actually have gameplay hang on there we are so this was one-to-one -one tribes one skiing and i just wanted to see what is like possible and it, it's very spiky <laughs> it's very high but it was so much fun like skiing you could do on this it's fucking wild because the thing the, the key thing about this is you have the slopes you have the plateaus the the mesas let's say and you have the hill you're looking at right now you're you're gonna lose speed you're gonna use all your jets okay but that's the intent it was with the idea of there being places where you're not gonna go right you need to go around because those cliffs you are looking at right there they are again they're curved off hills at the back right that's this look if you're gonna hit yourself over there but it's sloped and nice at the other end right so it is a possibility and that's what i'm showing you here that isn't really that big of a deal if you negotiate the hills correctly you can jet up because you've got t1 jets right there you are see how long you can stay in the air and try with tribe one jets <laughs> uh, and then you come to a plateau And also like the the effects and stuff they're just store bots from this is unreal engine 4 still that was just a store bot uh asset and stuff and an, an auto terrain that i made so i'm just gonna skip a bit to where i'm actually going fast And the, the physics for Tribes 1 can handle this shit. You can actually build up speed, you can go places, you know. And the jets allow you to do some crazy shit. So again, it was a proof of concept, right? Yeah, planet side, like we, we could do these things, dude. I mean... Now that we're watching things. Hmm. Yeah. So that I'm, I'm talking in the video, but I'm not going to tell you what I'm talking about. I'm just going to let this roll for a minute. All right. So this is the terrain I made. Okay. I talk about it for a bit. And this is a big place. This is the thing I can't show you guys because I can't get it to work on stream. Because it's this was recorded with uh, GeForce Play. Hello, TJ. This, you were talking about planet side terrain. Like planet side size terrain. Yeah. So about that. Quality isn't as high as it could be, I think. No. Don't worry, I'll start skiing in a bit. But look at the realistic scale of those hills. Those are actually mountain-sized mountains. They are actually, you know, like the fucking Alps or whatever hill you want as a comparison. That's an actual hill. That's a rock. Let's go down. The skiing in this game is also close more to T2 than T1. But, uh... Yeah. 
However, they could be hills somewhere in the world. However, I did make these. I did decide where these hills were going to go. Because I did apply... Again, when I said earlier was that any scale, any size, the principles I follow and the principles taught by Perlin Noise but then advanced with a little bit of game and map design, they still apply. Regardless of size or scale, you can make Tribes 3 sized map or you can make a world with these same principles and you will be able to ski on it the potential energy going from look look at what i'm doing I, i'm barely even using my jets you can't really tell but look at this place uh, that's what i've been doing for the last year <laughs> i've not been fucking around with competitive little tiny mirrored maps i've been building a fucking world all right that you can ski on but we're not quite ready yet to show more than this because we still need to figure out some things but the skiing is there it's working i think i've settled on what i want that world to look like this is also, again, the, the textures of placeholder. We're just learning how to use this plugin. Oh, look at that fucking hill, man. Look at that valley, though. Ah. Still proud of this. Mm. Yeah, don't worry. I'm going to I'm going to crest the hill. I'm going to I'm going to go for it. I'm going to ski down here. There we go. There we go. Now, mind you, this is not for for PV. Um, yeah, you know what? Tribes battle royale on this fucking thing. I'm gonna hit the rock, by the way. Oh, I didn't. Okay, I usually hit the rock. The rocks find me. I'm gonna cheat a little bit here and jets with everything. I kind of have a, a jetting. Well, there's no limit to the jets right now, but I just wanted to show the terrain. So I'm just going to skip a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the knowledge can be applied. There, there you go. That's the rock I hit. The knowledge that I have found can be applied to any scale. And it's, again, this is not out of arrogance. This is not out of arrogance. I'm just saying I've solved a few problems. This is not a feedback thing. This is, I've done it. I've been doing it for the last at least two years now. And yes, it's... This does not apply for the kind of game Tribes 3 is, obviously, but it is for a Tribes game, and it can work for a Tribes game. By the way, look at this. I've only been going up. I just want to tell you, I've only been going up, and now I'm in a flat plateau, okay? Notice that. I've only gone up. Look at that. I'm parity with the hills we started skiing down on, okay? This is a full plateau. And look at that. It's it's not flat. Okay? It's not flat. Look at that. It is glacial slope. It's a glacial slope like they exist in real life. And I'm still using my jets. I'm still... Because I'm slowing down now. I slowed down because I was talking too much and I wasn't actually skiing the terrain. But I'm still going up. A false flat. Look at that. Okay? Now we're going to crest the hill. Video's not over. Okay. The map does end. But it is about, I think, 40 kilometers or something. It's, let's say, you know, 35 miles or whatever in diameter. And it's not the biggest one I've made. Because um, at the start of the video, 
I'll, I'll circle but I don't know if you see it at the end of the video but I'm still I'm climbing this shit this is a climb now right there we are needs a grappling hook all right bad that guy I don't have any mods yet so you can live <laughs> all right here we go here we go Ah, oh. <laughs> there we go. And and this is in fact where the map technically ends because there it then goes into the world and the world is endless. So it is an actual planet that's being rendered. Yeah, the rocks, the rocks are scaled with the terrain, so <laughs> they're procedural. Yeah, and there's no, there's never any point where you are actually losing speed. You're always, you're being brought to an equilibrium. There's, there's places where you're going really fast. There's good places where you go slow, but you never increment your speed perpetually, right? There's never a perpetual increase of speed because the map will settle you down. The map will bring you to an equilibrium. See how fast I'm going now? I've been slogging a little bit. And now we get rewarded with speed. Look at this place. Look at that. <laughs> actually, I've been busy with tribes. I actually haven't skied on this end area. I find the rock. Don't worry. So, yeah. Now imagine having some fun games on this. Maybe some PvP content, PvE content, we'll see. We're, we're building it. It's, again, a project for next year, of course, but there's so many things to still be doing. The funny thing was that Orm that I'm working with on this, he, um, the first time he opened this plugin that we're using for this terrain, Oh yeah, by the way, now I'm zooming out. Uh, that little box is where we were. <laughs> so. It's, uh, yeah, I go to another. Uh, this is a smaller scale one. So. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, um, so he, when he first used this plugin, he um, he's like, oh, I he jutted up and he's like, oh, I see a mountain. I want to go there. And he spent like 30 minutes getting to it. Oh yeah, no, th this is a very Bob Ross thing. It, again, like the generator did a lot, but I did decide where these hills were going to go. And that's real fun. This is a smaller scale, by the way. So this is the same terrain but scaled down drastically right so it's a bit more exaggerated a bit more high intensity but it still keeps the same principles you get a gentle slope to allow you to regen and you use all your jets that you have and you will be rewarded with speed because what's going to be at the top of this mountain Oh, it's not a peak. It's a fucking valley. It is a glacial valley at the top of a giant mountain because that's how that happens. You know? So we've gone up we keep going up but we are completely isolated it's a complete line of side block with the rest of the world until you find your peak again and look at that hmm. and once more you're rewarded with the potential of speed 
Now in this, I'm kind of forcing my way through the terrain because I'm talking about it. I'll see if I ever publish this video. It's uh, on a different channel, but I mean, it's out here now, right? But I'm discussing game design things and boring things. But yeah, so not an idea guy. Applied theory guy. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, I, with being busy with Tribes 3, I haven't. I actually want to go back to this. <laughs> I've been building the channel. I want to keep streaming. I want to keep doing this, but it might be that there will be some dev streams on this. And then it'll be noodly shit like my my Gaia nodes and stuff and talk about that shit. I do want to make a video where I just explain the process from start to finish. No matter how oh, 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 look at this. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, so just to go to back to the start of the video, that's the whole terrain here, right? And that's it. This little box here. That was the whole terrain. And the rest just goes into a standard noise that this entire world has, which is the size of an actual planet. Um, so, and then in the background, that gray stuff that comes out of the clouds, that was my first test, but I left it in because it was so fucking funny. This, 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 this was the first map I put in, and I had no idea about scale, right? This is the first time I used the plugin, so I just dropped this terrain in there. <laughs> and then I kept, I, I played, and I'm like, shouldn't I be falling? I think the gravity is broken. And like, I look at my velocity, and I'm going like Mach 2. Oh. That's a big terrain. So it was actually the size of Olympus Mons on Mars. It was the equivalent. That's the size of it. And I landed on it and literally it felt like I was a microbe. It was really funny. So I kept it. Um, uh, in some of, the, some of the showcases I did. Yeah, my geography teacher was very annoyed with me because yeah. Uh, that that time I was still obsessed with tri with um with uh, StarCraft maps, but they uh they're a lot harder than tribes. Believe you me, that's one pixel wrong and <laughs> Terran is overpowered. Oh well, yeah, all right. But uh, yeah, this is fun. So I wonder if um one moment please. Is this, uh, no. Is it this one? This one I can actually link, I think. Anyone who has the link, right? Yeah, I'll put this one in. This is my the tribes rant that I did. Um, by them on demand um i'm not gonna show the entire video on stream i'm a proper react streamer now i'm reacting to my own content which is you know so i do the whole spiel about the the perlin noise and then you know i show a few things i explain things and then um oh yeah like I show this. There you go. I give the comparison of this is the green thing is original catabatic. The in-game vision of it from Tribes 2. And then my middle one is my remake. Which is kind of fun. And then I start skiing on things. So I do. So this is Catabatic, for instance. Um, Reimagined. 
and you can tell that with the reimagining it's still a very open map and yeah but it, it's in the video i explain it rather well uh, i ski on a few of the other terrains as well the um my my tormodon and stuff so you can see them in action in this scale and then of course I go and take a look at actual terrain as well. But with that said, because I'm starting to flag a little, I still am, I, I am a little under the weather and I have already had a full day's work behind me. So thanks for watching this Tribes 3 Rivals stream. Yeah. So yeah, I hope this was um, enlightening for you. I really love talking about this stuff. I really want to throw this stuff out there. And it's not really that difficult, except maybe, you know, I've been obsessive about this for maybe a little bit too long. But, uh, yeah. I think I'm going to end it there, guys. So, again, not merely opinions. I've been applying this to various situations and i've had feedback from a lot of people and i haven't really had bad feedback yet i think i'm right guys is that safe to say i might be right about this stuff i really want to see it happen and this is a unique opportunity to apply all of that nonsense and find a good archetype find a good baseline a foundation for what this game can be um and if not well then i continue on i go to my finely sculpted hills to die on and uh yeah the future of this channel you know might just be about that we'll see and maybe i'll cost some brute war now and again as well for people who want to see that in my other channel so with that thanks for hanging out f with me and um Tomorrow, I probably won't be streaming. Uh, I have a very busy work week ahead. I'll be working nights uh, on Tuesday and uh, Wednesday. Uh, I do work in antiques and I work at an auction house and it is auction week. So we'll see how active I'll be. Um, but then, of course, it's Christmas time. So we'll see what happens there. I'll be probably throw some shorts or a few small videos or something. I might do a rant about game types. That's a thing. I do have a design document or two. <laughs> I'm also that guy. So, uh, yeah. Might be talking about more high level stuff rather than specific balance to a spin fuser because that's not really the stage we're in right now. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I don't have an end screen, I'm just gonna end the fucking stream.